happy Friday. I am out running to my Botox appointment. So, um, how about you? Do you get Botox? I am um, pretty, I'm fairly new to Botox. I got it. I started getting it about two years ago. Uh, do I wish I would have gotten it in my 40s? Absolutely. Um, I love it. I love the way that it makes my face look refreshed and glowing. Um, I have pretty strong forehead lines and so it really makes a huge difference and I know that had I started getting it earlier it would have helped diminish some of those. Um, I also really love getting it right here. That started about a year, six months ago maybe, a year to six months ago and I lose a lot of volume right here and you can already see I'm due um, and it really just helps to fill this in for me. Um, so, you know, I am just of the camp that do what makes you feel good as we age. If, you know, letting your hair go gray is that for you, then more power to you. If getting Botox for me, um, keeping my hair blonde as much as I can, <laughs> those things just all uh, make me feel better. So, um, you know, to each his own. Uh, I have gotten filler before just one time and I loved it. I just haven't spent the money to do that again. Who's to say that I won't do it again? I, I loved it. I love the way it looks. I love my injector. She's really good at making um, it feel really natural and not oh, never too much. So I'm always really, um, I'm grateful for her because it's a really good fit for me. So I am going to head into that appointment now. Okay, Botox done. <laughs> this will all kick in in a couple weeks. I, um, We'll lose some of that movement there, which is fine, but I always still, there's a little bit there. We are pretty conservative, so I never lose complete movement. Um, we did around my eyes and then also tackled this right here, which for me is, like I said before, is where I lose a lot of volume. So um, I have one little kind of spot there, but other than that, it usually looks perfect in about one month. Two weeks, you start to notice a difference. I start to notice it in like a week, I can already tell. But um, I really love the way it looks about one month in. I just stopped at one of my favorite coffee shops and got a London Fog tea latte. Do you love these? It's Earl Grey tea. And then sometimes they put vanilla syrup in it, but today I chose a lavender and it's really good. It's just subtle, but um, not too strong of lavender, but I really, really love these. And I thought before I hit the road, I would just show you a couple of things that I've been loving lately um, to kind of help me stay on track. So um, one thing I've learned about me is that I try to love a big planner, you know, the kind with the spiral bound. Um, there's so many great ones out there and I find I get excited about those and then I don't use them. And I think it's because I can't put them in my bag. I want to be able to just grab it, put it in my bag and then take it with me. Otherwise I won't use it. So I have a couple of new things that I've been using. First off, um, I've always loved the Louis Vuitton um, notepad kind of folder, uh, but it's outrageously expensive. And I also love Coach. So I decided to treat myself to this one from Coach and I love it. You, it comes with this Coach notebook and then you can buy another one or you know you can just find another notebook that fits in here. But I really love it. I love that it just looks really chic and it's protected. And then I found these fun little clips for your pen on Amazon and they're all gold. And then they have a red, a brown or a black leather little loop here to hold your pen. And then these are some of my favorite pens that I found on Amazon. So I'm going to link those for you too. But so I love this for just how sleek it is. And it's been really good for me to write down like content ideas for reels and um, what I have coming up or 
And just, you know, notes like any day that I'm out, I just kind of date it at the top of like today's date. And then as things strike me during the day, I just jot them in here. So this is great to have in my purse. And then it doesn't get all beat up because it's in this nice little protective cover. So when I decided to repurchase another planner, I needed to get one that was slim, that was going to fit in my bag. And I remembered that I always loved these planners that I would find at like TJ Maxx and HomeGoods. And lately I haven't been able to find them. So I did a little deep dive and found them on Amazon and the brand is Gallery Leather. So they're just the nicest quality planners. And they have this embossed date on the front. And then um, they have all the gold foil on the edges, which makes it so chic. But then I love this format. So there's all the days of the week. There's plenty of room to write everything. It has this, you know, little ribbon to separate out your days. Um, so it also has, you know, all the months broken out as well. So it's just such a great planner. It's got maps in the back. I don't know. I just love the quality. And if you're someone who likes to keep your planners, which I'm kind of mad at myself now because I was keeping them. And then I think I just tossed them one day on a whim, but um, they look really cool. Just lined up on your bookshelf, whether you choose all the same cover or you choose a different one. So I'm going to link this one for you too, because I really love it. And like I said, it's just been a really good way for me to take both of these. They're in my bag, they're thin, they're easy to carry around, nothing's too bulky, and I find that I use them more when I do it this way. packages in from Amazon and so I thought I would just do a kind of a little random unboxing and show you what I bought okay so the first thing I bought was this brown bag and oh my gosh it's so cute um, this looks like really good quality I love this one okay let's take a look here um, it comes with a little extra pouch, so you could use this inside or in a tote bag, um, but really, really cute. I love the size. This brown is so good. Okay, winner. <laughs> love that one. It's got some little stitching here too. Really well made. Bottom looks great. Nice and soft. I think this is a good one. Okay, next up are a pair of sunglasses and I saw that these had a really designer inspired look. So I thought um, these are fun and it's kind of a little bit of a different style than I normally wear. But I like these. I think they're very fun, just something totally different. Um, they're a little more kind of designer feel. So cute. I love these. They're definitely a total designer vibe. Um, I'll put a photo right here of the designer pair so you can see how similar these are the gold with the green lenses but I really like these a lot okay and then next up is this which is actually another bag um, it's exactly well it's similar to the one that I'm sharing today in my reel that is the silver metallic which I love and I get asked about all the time because again it is a designer look-alike and I think it's amazing quality. It holds up so well. So let me show you with this one. Okay, so I wear the silver one a ton and I decided I would get a black one and I love it. So my silver one has two handles. This one is a single handle, but um, I really like it. 
they have a nice little um, cardboard padding or piece, you know, down here at the bottom that holds it square. And then it also comes with a little pouch again inside, which I use these. When you have a big bag like this, it's like a black hole. So it's nice to have these little pouches. But um, again, look at this, it's just perfect. It fits under your arm, it's slouchy. This would hold my laptop, it would hold my planner, my agendas. Really, really love this one. So I will get all this stuff linked for you. Also something to note, um, bigger bags are definitely trending and I'm kind of glad about it. I love a small, cute bag if I'm going to an event or I'm going out to dinner or something like that. But for my everyday running around and errands, I love bags this size because like I said, I can put my planner in here. I can just keep all the things that I need handy and I just love a good bigger size bag. So I'll get everything linked for you.